WVU has secured a commitment at a position of need on defense for 2022. Let's go. What's going on Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with the Country Roads webcast. And before we get into this video, just want to give you guys a quick reminder if you would, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Helps us, helps you, helps get more of this Mountaineer content out to Mountaineer Nation. And also if you would, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, that helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. And then of course, one more thing, big news today, a new thing we're trying here at the Country Roads webcast, we have a merch store open. So if you want some Country Roads webcast merch with the CRW logo, you can get a hoodie, you can get a t-shirt, you can get a hat, you can get baby clothes, you can get women's clothes, men's clothes, masks, you name it, you can pretty much get it there. Over 30 different products with the CRW logo. I'll post a link down in the description below. Check that out. It's 15% off for the next 14 days where we just now opened the merch store. So definitely check it out. Get you some CRW merch and support the Country Roads webcast. We really appreciate it. That being said, let's get into it. All right, so we knew the West Virginia would want to add another player on defense and definitely another Mike linebacker with one of the remaining scholarships, and they have done just that, securing a commitment from Miami transfer Tyreek Austin Cave, who just visited Morgantown this past weekend. Had a good feeling he would commit during his visit. He did. He's coming to play for the Mountaineers in 2022, where he will compete at that Mike linebacker spot, along with Lee Coba. And this is big for West Virginia. They really needed some depth at that Mike linebacker position. Lost Josh Chandler Semito, who was expected to compete there. Um, debatable if that's over. Lee Coba really standing out and him thinking he would lose playing time to him or not, but that's a discussion for another time. What we did know is Lee Coba had really stood out there at Mike linebacker, but behind him, there was virtually hardly any depth. Uh, Ja'Cory Hammond had moved to the Mike linebacker. He'd previously been a bandit but it moved to the mic this spring and playing behind him there. And so behind Lee Cove, all you had really was Ja'Cory Hammond and a walk-on in Caden Beiser. So he really needed to add some depth to the Mike linebacker position. And West Virginia has done that with Tyreek Austin Cave from Miami. Played two seasons over at Miami, but redshirted one. So he does have three years of eligibility remaining. Another transfer with multiple years remaining. And as I've said before, I think that's big. You get a transfer with multiple years remaining. You're essentially locking that guy into your program because they can't transfer again without having to sit out a year. And I think it's also a plus, you know, for this defense in general. You needed not only depth at the Mike linebacker position, but now you have someone that might push Lee Coba as well. Tyreek Austin Cave, I'm not expecting him to steal that starting spot away from Lee Coba, but he's definitely going to have a chance to compete for it and push him there in fall camp leading into to the fall. And, and regardless, both of these guys will play whether it's one spell on the other or what have you. Both these guys are going to see snaps at that Mike linebacker position. So really big pickup here for West Virginia. Stealing one back from Miami, who has kind of been a thorn in West Virginia's side recently and uh, stealing some of West Virginia's players via the transfer portal. West Virginia able to steal one back in Tyreek Austin Cave, and he's a guy that will contribute for the Mountaineers in 2022. So great pickup here, securing another inside linebacker there to play that Mike position for West Virginia, but what are your guys' thoughts? What do you think of Tyreek Austin Cave and the pickup for the West Virginia Mountaineers? And the Mountaineers now have two scholarships remaining for this 2022 class. Gotta think one of them is gonna be a corner, but what do you think the other one will be? Heck, what do you think both of those scholarships will be? Do you think one will go to corner or do you have two other positions in mind? Anything you wanna to respond to there, just let us know in the comments. That helps, we love the interaction as we continue to try and interact with Mountaineer Nation as much as possible. And as we do that, as I stated earlier, Hey, you want to support us, there's a great way to do it now at our new merch store. You can check that out. Like I said, the link's going to be in the description below. Check it out. Get you a hoodie. Get you a t-shirt. Anything you want to get there. Support the CRW with the CRW logo there on our merch now in our new newly opened merch store. So we really appreciate that. And one more time, if you were here at the Country Roads webcast, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Helps us. Helps you. Helps get more of this Mountaineer football content out to Mountaineer Nation. That being said, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go, Mel Neal.